Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Today we're going to be making a pocket of sorts for our gratitude journal. And I had it attached there. This is one that I saw somebody do or make. And then you try to replicate it and then it didn't quite work. So I put I ended up improvising and just putting my own uh, take on it. It might have been Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda, but um, I think. So what it was, it started out as a, a slanted pocket with journaling space, which is fine. Then I didn't like my paper here on the front, so then I added a separate pocket. So now I have two pockets, one there and one there. So I thought, hey, that works, and there's still journaling space. So what I did, and you may not have a fancy book, but because it works better if this is double-sided. I tried a single-sided one and I couldn't get it to work for me, but um, as soon as I went to double-sided, I got this um, at the thrift store and it has some pretty pictures in it. So that's what I've been using. And I think I'm going to go with this one. I thought this was a gold mine, <laughs> so I couldn't leave it there. I think it was like, it was $2. The price is still on it. <laughs> so I normally don't like crafting with shiny paper but we're going to cover it up anyways because it's very um, thin so as you can see there's still some pretty images so i am having to cut down my page because my book is slightly smaller so i want i can at least trim the the ripped edge off and maybe I'll go alongside here so I can kind of cut a straight line you could use scrapbook paper you could use um, newspaper any magazine paper um, music paper that would have worked actually that would have worked really well i didn't think of it till now i was using it for something else but definitely all right so what i want to do is relatively fold this into thirds so if i look here this is about just shy of 12 inches so what I'm going to try and do is fold it at just shy of four inches and then just cut off any excess now depending on how you fold this the the pocket let's see a little bit of strategy involved here this part was the same blue as I didn't like here so I had no problem covering that up so then this pocket is sealed so I wanted these plants plant pictures to show so then this paper seems to be non-directional because it's sideways anyways if I fold that at about four inches there, 
Yeah, the same thing's going to happen. Let's try it this way. If I go four inches this way, there, that'll be on the front then. That'll work for me. So you just have to figure out what you want to show and what you want to hide. And basically I'm just going with this one. So this will get glued down like so. I'll fold that back to get that pocket the writing all right so that's the fold for the initial pocket then the writing can go here yes you could do extra writing on there if you wanted to there's so many possibilities but i'm going to fold this to the inside like so and two I could line that part so it wouldn't show I might want to do that let's see what have I got here I'd like it to be all the same we want the journaling space to be plain so that people can write on it all right let me just glue down the edge here and then I'll decide what to do okay then I'm going to ink I had made one of these and kept it in my ideas journal and as so often happens, I saw it in my ideas journal and then I couldn't remember how it was made. So then I kind of had to try and figure it out <laughs> because, you know, you can't just go looking at YouTube videos all day. At some point you got to figure stuff out on your own, right? So... Actually, it was a good thing because, like I said, I ended up putting an extra pocket on it. Now, saying that, I could also put an extra pocket in the back here if I really wanted to. We still have the journaling space inside. All right, let me go find some paper. Okay, so I found some paper that is misprinted which will be fine it's coffee dyed and it will work I'm just gonna put that one aside for now I might have to put that one in my ideas book because I really like the addition of the extra pocket okay so if I want to line this pocket, I would just have to attach that page to it. I would line the whole thing because otherwise you might get things stuck in there. So what I'm going to do is apply glue to the whole thing. I think I'll use this. Okay, so then we're going to probably just leave a little bit of space so it doesn't come right up to the crease. And then smoosh it down.
So there's that. Now we will take this side and we will cut off any excess. get pretty close. Okay, so that's the one side covered. The inside, that's just lining the pocket. And then we can ink this as well. What I'll probably do later is round all the edges and then ink it again just on the corners. All right, you'll see it'll be easier if we just cover everything with paper that we want to first. Okay, so then this becomes the pocket so we can glue this down. Like so. All right, so then we get to we can put another pocket on this side. I think I like that idea. And then we'll have this for the journaling place, journaling spot. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same piece of paper for the journaling spot. Not the journal, this is the pocket, sorry. Um, I'm just thinking, do I want it flush with that or do I want it in? I think I want it in a little, but I need a straight edge here. down a little bit and then I will put the notch in. I can put it pretty close. But if I put it down a little more, it'll look like I'm showing that on purpose. So let's go with that. Uh, I'm just gonna ink the side. Because it will be harder to ink after. Might not be able to get in there very well. Okay like so, and then we want glue okay, I'm gonna have to cut this one down before I guess roughly, I can always trim it down a bit more later. I just need to know where to put the, oh, I could have just, okay, never mind. I could just put the glue on here. And then we want it all the way down. And then leaving a little space up here.
And two, if you didn't want the paper to be so plain, you could either use different paper. And I kind of messed up there. I didn't get it far enough down. I think it's too late. Yeah. I don't want to rip it. So I'll leave that. I'll ink that up and it might be a little better. And two, if you ever think you want to ink something and you don't have ink, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be ink. Like, I think I could have used, I mean, yes, it will take time to dry, but even ink is wet and it takes time to dry too. So, um, watercolor on a sponge or coffee, um, to, yeah, coffee on a sponge could be used for inking. And I think I'm doing something bad here. I think I did something wrong. Yeah, I cut on the fold. All right, so where is my <laughs> there it is. Oops. Okay. Okay. I'm glad this happened. Why? Because we should all know how to fix things when they go wrong. This is my fold. I was trimming. Well, I was trimming over here. Why was I doing that? Oh, because it seemed to be sticking out there. Okay. I meant to be trimming this part here. So let me just do that. See if I have to fix anything else. Okay. So what I did. That's the top. That's the middle. All right, so we have a big gash there. It's all right. It's paper. And so how big is this gash? It's pretty deep. I knew I was doing it too. Why didn't I just stop? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit off of here. It's going to be covered up anyways. We just, I just want to add some strength to that so it can be used to be folded. Otherwise, I would have to attach it there. And then we would just have a double sided pocket. There would be no journaling space. So I will. Washi tape would be really good right now. That one. Because I don't really like Paisley or whatever these things are. I think this is one of the very first washi tapes I ever bought. And we want some extra glue on it. So, I hope you're doing well and are enjoying this series. If you would like to see more topical journals, let me know what subjects you would like covered. I kind of have done the ones I thought were well I suppose there's one left that I think would be really beneficial and that's the sanctification one we've already done the encouragement ones not under topical but the joy journal 
was kind of that was encouragement um, okay I'm still gonna put this paper there I don't really want to be that thick thinner paper I'm looking for thinner paper I know I like, might not be able to find thinner paper however I still have this emergency stuff and that would work because it already has glue on it so that won't be an extra layer and it's gonna go a little wider So this is label paper. It's got craft color paper on one side. I could have done the whole thing with this and that could have been my journaling spot, but it's a little dark to write on, I think. I mean, it'll work, but mainly I had already decided to use this which is quite a bit lighter so I'm gonna stick with that all right so this is still covering up the tear that I made accidentally I just want it to be strong so that it doesn't happen when somebody's using this okay I think that's a good fix. Then we just have to find that crease again right there. Okay, so again, that's the top. And this is the inside. So this is where the journaling spots are going to go. So basically, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did for the other one, except I might do what I did for that other pocket. Where did it go? There it is. See how I cut the shape of the pocket to the shape of the paper? Just smaller. So I kind of like that idea for the, for the inside here. So, oh, this is three, almost four inches, almost four inches. So if I go if I do maybe three and a half and I'll do that twice. I have two sides to fill up there. Then I'm going to do about half an inch on here as well. So how are you enjoying summer? Are you getting summer weather? Are you liking it? Sounds to me like there's a lot of flooding going on all over the world right now. Okay, so this will be visible. I'm okay with that. I mean, it is what it is. If I hadn't have cut into that, then obviously it wouldn't be a problem, would it? Okay, so I'm gonna use this one again. And just stay inside that border that I gave myself. You 
these things are so small they disappear quick like so Okay, so that's one. And then the same thing on this side. I am less and less enjoying using glue sticks. So I decided to invest in a little bit of glycerin. And I'm going to start making my own. There was a recipe for matte medium or matte gel medium in a matte I guess that's the technical term so I'm going to try making some of that see because that you would apply with a brush not as handy as a glue stick but again these things are so tiny and they're really pricey after a while if you use them a lot so There, so this will be the journaling spot, and I do like the effect of that coffee dye job there. Almost reminds me of looking into a pool, and you can see the reflections in the pool. All right. And then if I have something sticking out, I'll come along and do that. All right, so there's that, and then we're going to just, and if you're wondering why I'm using two inks, it's because I like the combination of the shades together. I find the vintage photo is a little bit light, and I find the other one is a little bit dark, so then that's why. Okay, I forgot to... Um, around the corner. Did I do this too? I don't I see some paper poking up there. So, Alright, so what I'm going to do is round the corners. I'm going to go with the big one. That is a little tough right there. Could be there's some glue in the way. Could be it's a little bit thick in there. All right, I can't get it in that side. I'll try one more time. Okay, good. Nope. And it's stuck. <laughs> Alright, so if you don't have a corner rounder, or if your corner rounder is not working, This is a five cent piece. Am I on camera? I don't know. So something like that. Some Sometimes I would just trace it and then cut it out. So I'll just round it a little nicer, neater. There we go. That works. OK. 
Okay, so back to inking. And two, inking is a preference. It's not a must. So you should never feel obligated to ink. I just happen to like how it looks. So, so then we have all this journaling spot. This is the front, but there's the pocket. And then you got another pocket in the very back. And in between, you have all this journaling places. It's kind of elaborate, I think, if that's the word to use. Um, let me just put a little more glue in here. You can see the, the pockets. The pockets where it wasn't glued. Same with this side over here. And still over here. So this is one of the disadvantages to glue sticks that I can see. All right, so there we go. Then, now because it has all these pockets, this is now like a floating pocket because you can't glue it down. I mean, you could have if you didn't have this pocket in the back, but because it has something on every side, you will want to just attach it in a way that people can unattach it. Something like that. You could also do it on the side. It just happens that my picture on the hidden paper clip there is facing that direction. And two, I like things sticking out at the top, so that works. I picked the mushroom because it's garden related. So, all right, so there's that. And then we're just gonna pick some scriptures for today. Psalm 107, verse 31. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. Ideally, you'd want something longer to stick in there. Maybe something like this. Hebrews 13, verse 15. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that give thanks to his name. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to put that one in there. Like so. This one maybe can go in here. I'll just, I don't know, for some reason I'm really not liking the um, 90 degree angle. I like them rounded somehow. I think they're just gonna get dog-eared if they're too cornery. <laughs> If the corners are too sharp. In fact, I'm thinking I don't like the, the pointiness of the pages either, but that's another topic. All right, so there's that. I'm going to put it on that side so they can see the verse over here. And two, I could have rounded these corners. What's on this side? I just made this out of some master board that I had laying around. So that works. And two, if you wanted to put the picture in, you could do it that way. Then it would look like it was just a, for some reason, this paper clip. 
I think I bent it the wrong way, so now it's not wanting to hold on as nicely. So do watch that if you're making hidden paper clips. All right, that's good. All right, so there we have, I don't know, what do we call that? I'll figure it out. All right. <laughs> there's that. And there's that. All right. So two examples done a little bit differently. And um, that's what we have for today. Thanks for watching. And maybe we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed that. Be blessed and uh, have a great day. Bye for now.